Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International with me, Keith Johnston. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Decree 37 of 2019, designating the Minister of Health as the Minister in Charge of the Health Insurance Law, issued by Law 23 of 2018. The decree takes immediate effect and will be published in the official gazette. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa ratified and issued Law 5 of 2019, amending Article 424 of the Penal Code, promulgated by the Legislative Decree No. 15 of 1976. The decree stipulates that the text of Article 424 of the 1976 Penal Code is amended to state that any employee, a member of the Board of Directors or Trustees in a private corporate entity who embezzles funds, bonds or securities, having fiscal, commercial or moral value found in his possession because of his job or position, will be sentenced to 10 years and to give back the embezzled amount. If the embezzler receives the money, bonds, financial, commercial or securities or other equivalent in his capacity as a collection officer, representative or a banker entrusted with deposits, this will be considered a reason to toughen the penalty. His Majesty the King also ratified and issued Law 6 2019, approving the agreement between the Bahraini government and the Moroccan government regarding air services. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received, in the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, senior officials who offered their best wishes on the beginning of the holy month of Ramadan and their prayers for His Majesty the King's steady health and Bahrain's progress and achievements.
His Majesty the King greeted his guests and delivered the following speech, marking the occasion. يسعدنا أن نهنئكم بقدوم شهر رمضان المبارك الذي أنزل فيه القرآن هدى للناس وبينات من الهدى والفرقان وندعو الله بمناسبته الفضيلة أن يعيدها علينا جميعا بالخير والبركات شاكرين ومقدرين لكم مشاعركم الطيبة ودعواتكم الصادقة بحلول شهر الخير والإحسان وفي هذه الليالي المباركة تتجلى أسمى قيم التواصل والتكافل الإنساني بين الجميع على أرض البحرين أرض الحضارة والريادة سيرا على نهج الآباء المؤسسين ومواصلة الأبناء الأوفياء مشكلين بذلك هوية وطنية جامعة ذات أصالة راسخة في عمق التاريخ ولقد كنا وما زلنا وسنبقى دوما بعون الله أسرة بحرينية مترابطة ومتحابة وستبقى البحرين بفضل الله مملكة الاستقرار والأمن ووطن التعايش والتسامح بجسورها الممتدة والمتصلة مع كافة الحضارات والثقافات بما يدعم استقرار محيطنا الإقليمي ويحفظ أمننا العالمي ونؤكد في هذا الصدد على التزام مملكة البحرين بمواقفها الراسخة مع الأشقاء في المملكة العربية السعودية ودولة الإمارات العربية المتحدة وجمهورية مصر العربية المتمثلة في اتخاذ كافة الخطوات والإجراءات لصون أمن واستقرار المنطقة وعلى رأسها أن تقوم قطر بوقف دعم وتمويل الإرهاب وأن تفي بالشروط التي تم الإعلان عنها ونصت عليها الاتفاقيات التي أبرمت في هذا الإطار وكل ما تزامن معها من مطالب عادلة وفي الختام نود أن نعرب عن شكرنا وتقديرنا لما تقوم به السلطة التشريعية من عمل دؤوب وجهد مقدر بتعاونها المستمر مع الحكومة ويأتي إقرار مجلس النواب للميزانية العامة اليوم وما تم قبل من اجتماعات وتبادل للآراء مؤكدا ومجسدا لثبات سياسات وخطى مملكة البحرين في سبيل ترسيخ أركان دولة المؤسسات والقانون ولا يفوتنا في هذه الليلة المباركة أن نتوجه بالشكر والتقدير لأشقائنا في المملكة العربية السعودية ودولة الإمارات العربية المتحدة ودولة الكويت على دعمهم المستمر لجهود التنمية بمملكة البحرين وهو ما يجسد عمق الروابط الأخوية التاريخية المستندة على وحدة الصف والمصير المشترك ونسأل الله العزيز القدير أن يعيد شهر رمضان المبارك على شعبنا والمقيمين على أرضنا وعلى الأمتين العربية والإسلامية بالخير واليمن والبركات إنه سميع مجيب الدعاء والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al-Khalifa also received the heads of the diplomatic missions accredited to the kingdom, 
He conveyed to His Majesty the greetings of the leaders and their best wishes in the holy month of Ramadan and for the blessed returns of the auspicious occasion for His Majesty the King, Bahrain and Bahrainis. They expressed the appreciation of His Majesty the King's efforts in strengthening Bahrain's relations with their countries and promoting them to wider horizons of cooperation and joint action. His Majesty the King exchanged greetings and wishes with the diplomats and hailed Bahrain's strong relations with their countries. He expressed appreciation of the good efforts exerted by the diplomats to develop cooperation between Bahrain and their countries and to the keenness to achieve shared goals and aspirations. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, yesterday visited the Majlis of His Highness Sheikh Hamad bin Mohammed bin Salman Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince noted that Bahrain's traditional values are underpinned by Islamic principles. 
His Royal Highness added that these values remain at the centre of all development efforts led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al-Khalifa. The Crown Prince highlighted the important role Majlis' play in strengthening social connections among the Kingdom society. For his part, His Highness Sheikh Hamad bin Mohammed expressed gratitude for His Royal Highness's visit. His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad al-Khalifa accompanied His Royal Highness during His Majlis' visit. The Council of Representatives Speaker, Fasiya bint Abdullah Zainal, affirmed that Bahrain is the prosperous era of His Majesty the King is moving forward in the path of development and highlighted the people of Bahrain's unity and social cohesion. She added that Bahrain's unity and the leadership of His Majesty contribute to overcoming all local and regional challenges and affirmed the Council's support of the Kingdom's firm stance with the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, the United Arab Emirates and Egypt on Qatar's fulfilment of its commitment to 2013 to 2014 agreements, along with its just demands. Zanal expressed pride in His Majesty's praise of the efforts of the Council of Representatives and its role in supporting legislative and regulatory action and cooperating with the Government and the Shura Council. She also affirmed that the approval of the general budget draft law is a result of the cooperation of all and expressed thanks and appreciation to Saudi Arabia, 
the United Arab Emirates and Kuwait for supporting the kingdom. She expressed pride in meeting His Majesty the King yesterday as part of his meetings during the holy month of Ramadan, which affirms His Majesty's support of Ramadan majlises, which strengthen the social connections among the kingdom society. Sinal stressed that Bahrain, under the leadership of His Majesty, will always remain a kingdom of security and stability and coexistence in light of a distinguished history and rich Bahraini talents and the development it witnesses under the rule of law and institutions. And the Speaker of the Representatives Council affirmed that the Royal Directors of His Majesty the King is the approach that the Representatives Council has adopted in studying and discussing the draft law for the general budget 2019 to 2020. She added that the Royal Speech during the first session of the fifth legislative term has been professionally and responsibly taken into consideration in the Representative Council's report. Zanal held the rule of the government and its continuous cooperation, expressing thanks and appreciation to the government team led by the Deputy Prime Minister, Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa. She also expressed thanks and appreciation to the Chairman of the Shura Council, Ali bin Saleh Asale, and the members of the Representatives and Shura Councils for their efforts to study and adopt the draft law. Zanal noted that the Council shares with the Government an endeavour to achieve the needs and aspirations of the people and the awareness of the national challenges and aspirations in the draft law of the General Budget. The Representatives Council speaker stated that financial data had recorded a positive decline in deficit which reached 708 million Bahraini dinars with a percentage of 46% in comparison with the fiscal year 2018. Zinal called to increase revenue without burdening citizens and to reduce expenditure while maintaining national gains. She added that the national was always capable of overcoming challenges and creating opportunities and investment and that Bahrain, led by His Majesty the King, is keen on achieving the aspirations of its people. The Chairman of the Shura Council, Ali bin Saleh Al Saleh, expressed appreciation for the support of His Majesty, King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, for the legislative authority and his continuous keenness on following up on the course of democracy in the country. Al Saleh expressed pride in the royal commendation of the efforts of the role of the legislative authority in carrying out outstanding national work affirming that the Council will continue to achieve further constructive cooperation between the three authorities to make further achievements. al Saleh hailed the meeting with His Majesty the King, expressing pride in the achievements made during the era of His Majesty the King. He praised the vision and royal directives that His Majesty issued during the meeting, which affirmed the necessity of pres preserving national unity. Chairman of the Shura Council lauded His Majesty's keenness and interest in laws and citizens' needs, and that fulfilled their aspirations. He emphasised that the Council will continue its efforts that are aimed at achieving aspirations and goals based on the responsibility His Majesty emphasised for the development in the Kingdom in the framework of the cooperation with the Representatives Council, the constructive cooperation with the Government led by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier. He praised His Majesty the King's stance that affirmed Bahrain's commitment with Saudi Arabia, UAE and Egypt on Qatar's fulfilment of its commitments in 2013 and 2014, considering that the Qatari approach deviates from that of the Gulf countries, is rejected. He stressed the necessity for Qatar to stop these practices and harm its people. He expressed thanks and appreciation to Saudi Arabia, United Arab Emirates and Kuwait for their continuous support to Bahrain. The Ministry of Housing has lauded its initiatives that aim to amend the regulatory requirements for reconstruction in housing areas in coordination with the Ministry of Works, Municipality Affairs and Urban Planning, Municipal Councils and the Council of the Capital Secretariat, which comes as a response to the desire of citizens in this regard. The Ministry added that it submitted proposals to amend the reconstruction requirements of housing areas, which included the cancellation of the ban of construction during the first year of receiving the housing units, as well as the option of allowing the installation of shades on the front wall. The Ministry communicated with the Ministry of Works to amend the construction requirements and also contacted the Municipal Councils and the Capital Secretariat to speed up the processing of the required amendments and respond to the inquiries of the relevant members. It also added that responding to the requirements of the citizens and members of Parliament comes within the framework of ensuring the activation of continuous communication with beneficiaries and considering the ideas being put forward to maintain the controls of the government service work 